go up that question, I guess. Uh, but uh, I'll move on. Jerry, uh, I don't have a mic, so I don't have a mic, so I will type. I was wondering what you think of Zechariah Sitchin's work. Um, look, I think he's um, he's probably very, very sincere. I don't agree with a lot of Zechariah Sitchin's stuff. I'm in um, with uh, John Lamb Lash and um, his idea that if the Anunnaki engineered us to be slaves and to uh, go getting gold for them, well, screw that uh, slave mentality. I'm not going to buy into that. No. <laughs> um, it, it's just, uh, I think, again, it's the elite hijacking some a good scientist and a good researcher that he is. As sincere as he is, I don't trust him. I think he's been um, purchased by some... You see, a lot of guys, they don't get purchased. For instance, John Marco Allegro, the Dead Sea scroller, Scholar, who had his um, reputation defamed and, and, and destroyed by the uh, elites because he was a Dead Sea Scroller and, and he revealed to the world the true nature of the Dead Sea Scrolls, debunking the Bible as literal hist history. Well, these, John Marco Allegro certainly did not sell his soul. I think this guy did. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I mean, you know, I know there's been some engineering, there's some genetic engineering going on, uh, and I know that, um, you know, there's been some manipulation, but we, we are the ones we have been waiting for. There is no overlords. We are the lords. And anyone teaching anything different is trying to, still trying to keep us from being who we really are. We are David, and uh, guess what? Goliath is trying to help make us think that we are useless and we can't imagine and be the gods and the heroes that we really are. We are heroes. We are a race of heroes. I hope that answered your question, Jerry, and I'm uh, you know, sorry if you're a Zechariah Sitchin fan because I know um, a lot of people are. Uh, like, uh, for instance, William Henry is a great fan of his. Jordan Maxwell is a great fan of his. And and I think uh, Michael Sarin is a fan of his. But I don't think so. Gods in Amnesia. Yes, Gods in Amnesia. Now, that's uh, a good book to read. I would be... Um, I would be reading History in Amnesia by Emmanuel Velikovsky. Um, I'm trying to find the book because there's a few good good things in there. But, um, yeah, there's been some amnesia, all right. And Emmanuel Velikovsky was a good person to talk about that because he, he like me, uh, has used the mythologies to draw truth from. You see, you know those uh, mythologies, those myths? Well, guess what? They happen to be telling pure scientific and spiritual truth. And that's what Zechariah Sitchin has done, I believe. But um, I think his information has been um, co-opted. Zechariah Sitchin also got caught leaving out some of the translations where it contradicted his Jewish beliefs. Yeah, there you go. All right, um, I'm going back to a question... Let's see what we've got. Um, I think I've missed a few questions. I'm pretty slow here, guys. <laughs> Sirius, Big John, uh, Sirius is coming back. Yes, Sirius is hurtling towards us as, at uh, 12 miles a second. Less light, less information. Yes, with Sirius hurtling towards us at 12 miles a second, you got to wonder what she's racing toward us for. You see, she's the great liberator. She is the great liberator. Just one moment, sorry. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, orbiting around Sirius is is another star called Sirius B. And um, Sirius B is a white dwarf. We don't see it. But there's a tribe in Mali who know of it, and they are the Dogon tribe. You see, and they're not called the Dogon tribe for nothing. Dog, dog, is the dog star Sirius. 
And they know about its 49.9 yearly orbit around its sister star Sirius A, which is also our sister star, and they know about it. Now, without being able to see that, how are they able to know that? Well, that sun, that star, is 300 times harder than diamond. And it is, revolve, it, it is rotating at 23 revolutions a minute. And it's a star weighing so much. It's, it's, a, it's a, 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 a white dwarf. That star, when it goes in between, uh, when, it, when it goes through the passage between our sun and Sirius A, causes the, um, our Earth to slow down in its revolution one second and then to speed up one second as it transits, as it passes in between the two stars. It's a dynamo, a magnetic dynamo of energy. It has direct, it's, a, it's eight light years away, and yet it has a direct link to our Earth and solar system. It causes havoc on our, with our solar system. It is directly linked, and it's hurtling towards us rapidly. So more light is a coming. Oh, yeah. Nassim Harriman made a chart with his, which is knowledge the our cells stand right in the middle of this entire universe. Yes, our sun is uh, eight degrees removed from source, and there are eight higher suns than our sun, eight octaves. And if you imagine that our sun is like an umbilical cord, we go through our sun, through our sun's consciousness to the higher consciousness. We go through the, the solar consciousness, then the galactic, then the universal, back to unity. Last visit by the Anunnaki was 3,600 years ago. They are now referred to as the Anunnaki of the Light. The Anunnaki is 3,600 more evolved since their last visit to Earth. Yeah. He met Danny. He met with Cardinal Baducci. No, I can't understand. That one's not a question anyway. All right. Mm -hmm. Question. Question asked to me a while ago, this is Danny, how long does it take in years for Sirius to come past us? What is the orbit of Sirius and our sun around each other in years? Well, it's exactly uh, 24,000 years when corrected. Most figures are uh, 25,920 years for precession. That is the official processional calculation. 25,920 years, but... According to uh, Walter Russell, uh, Walter uh, Crutenden, in the book um, The Lost Star in Myth and Time, again, I'm trying to look for that, but I think I've um, put it up on the shelf. Uh, in there, he explains that um, precession is speeding up. You see, as Sirius hurtles towards us 12 miles a second, um, what happens is that we start to speed up in our binary orbit with Sirius. And so what happens is it, it brings the rate of precession down and it levels out to about 24,000 years exactly. And uh, Sri Yukteswar, the, um, the Indian guru um, who wrote the book The Holy Science, I use that a lot in my presentations, he said it was 24,000 years. So, Sophia, so do you believe our sun's binary is serious? Yes, yes, I've um, used all of the... Um, I've used all of the science that uh, Walter Russell uses in his book. He has about uh, nine or ten facts which... Um, which point to Sirius being the uh, binary star with our solar system, but it's a star system. And um, certain stars in the Arian, in the Aries, Taurus and Gemini sector are always considered to be our home. You know, the Pleiades are in that lot. Uh, Procyon and uh, Alcyon.